Hello. PCCL channel greets you. Here is an example of recording a curve of velocity as a function of time. We see a first phase. When the line moves upward, with a positive slope therefore, the scooter accelerates. The velocity was zero at the start. It is now a little over 90 km per hour. If I let go of the throttle, the engine brake acts, and we have a phase where the scooter slows down. The acceleration is negative. Slope is negative. Even more if you brake to stop the scooter. This does not prevent the time from passing. So the curve continues and I can choose another velocity, to finish my example. When the velocity is constant, the curve is a horizontal segment. Here's what we got with the different phases. For the more curious, here's the graph of the acceleration as a function of time on the same dates. Something is not consistent, it's the units. There I left the units that are displayed on the speedometer. While there, I write down the acceleration in meters per second squared because these are the units that we meet in exercises. Looking here we see constant positive acceleration. The velocity increases steadily, it is a uniformly accelerated motion, UAM. This acceleration is the slope of this curve. After converting to meters per second, of course. When the velocity is constant, the acceleration is zero. It's a uniform motion. Negative accelerations exist. Here is engine braking. By operating the brake handles, the deceleration is even more important. That's it for this video. Thank you.